everybody needs food, everybody needs a place to live. So one of the things that we focus on in Catholic Charities in New York is trying to do our part to make sure that people have decent, nutritious meals and that they have a place to live. So we provide over five million meals each year, regular and emergency, through our food pantries, our soup kitchens, and other programs. But what makes our programs incredibly special is the fact that we don't think it's good for somebody to be coming to those programs long term. So we try to provide some help to them in the form of some professional services so that those individuals can be helped to not come back, to move their lives forward, to live in greater independence. And I think that makes our food pantries, our soup kitchens, something that are very much reflective of our belief in the dignity of the human person and trying to enable those people to be more self-sufficient. In New York, we're right now also suffering from a crisis of housing. Housing costs have skyrocketed through our professional services. We're keeping families housed so they don't become homeless. They can have a safe place to raise their families. Those programs, while they may not be new, while they may not be the sexiest programs, boy, are they essential to protecting human dignity and making our place a good place to live. Those are things that we're not proud of because we, we don't like the fact that too many people need meals. We don't like the fact that too many people are in danger of losing their homes. But we are proud that we're being able to make our town a little bit more compassionate for some very hurting neighbors that we have. And so coming to these meetings is to realize that the help that we provide, the hope we create, is not small. Together, we're making a difference to make this country a more compassionate, a more just place with a lot of hurt that is there. But we're doing our part to make it a better place.